Hi guys, welcome to Sewing with Sandy. Today we're gonna to explore one of Mood's free patterns. Now they have quite a few free patterns on their site, but the one we're gonna look at today is the hospital gown. It's MDF 201, and I'll put the uh, link for it down in the description down below. You can go to their site and download the pattern. You have to print it out and, and tape it together, which is a little bit of work, but the pattern is free. And I chose the hospital gown because it seemed to be appropriate for the time. And also my daughter is going into the hospital on Sunday to have a baby. And so she's gonna be in a bed for a couple of days and I thought it would be nice for her to have something comfortable to wear. So the pattern recommends 100% cotton and it's designed for the nurses and staff that work in the hospital. This is actually going to be for her, she's gonna be in bed. So I chose a cotton for the front. This is just a plain quilted cotton and the pattern has a kind of a wrap front with some ties. So the cotton will work really well and it'll hold up in the front. But then since she's going to be in a bed, I wanted to give her something a little more comfortable. So I, I'm going to add this knit uh, uh, ponte for the back. So they match pretty close considering they were in my scrap. I don't, uh, my scrap bin, I don't think that's too bad. And um, yeah, so it'll be a cotton front and a knit back. I think if you're gonna make them for hospital staff, they should be completely knit. At least that's what the pattern recommends. But we'll see how it goes. So follow along and see where we end up. All right, we have the paper pattern taped together. I have it taped in sections because it's just easier to do that. And the sleeve, I'm gonna make a short sleeve so I didn't bother taping the whole sleeve together. But one of the things I want you to consider when you're doing this is you check your print, this little square here should be two inches by two inches. So if I overlay my ruler on that, I'm pretty close. I'm off by a little bit, but this is a hospital gown, not a precision garment, so I'm not so much worried about that. Taping these patterns together, this pattern took maybe 10 minutes to tape together. It wasn't that big of a deal. And I'm just going to trim it up and then I'm going to cut out my fabric pieces. And uh, for a free pattern, that's pretty good and I'm sure it goes together really well because it's mood and their reputation is on the line when they put their name on patterns. So I'm sure that it's been tested, but I will uh, let you know. All right, this pattern only has five pieces and I'm a big fan with the plus the ties. I'm a big fan of laying things out in front of me. I like to know where I'm going. So these are the two fronts. The back is cut on the fold and then these are the two sleeves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew these sleeve sections together all the way around because this part of the sleeve actually becomes part of the neck. So you can see that here and then this is open. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna serge it because it's a hospital gown and she's probably gonna wear it a couple of times and then give it to somebody else. So I think that uh, serging is the way to go. It'll save time, plus it will make this much more comfortable for the, um, for the knit portion of the uh, garment, all right? So we're gonna sew all those pieces around. All right, so we have our, our sleeve, uh, excuse me. So we have our sleeve seams all sewed together. And now I'm just going to flip it right sides together. And we're gonna sew down the sleeve. And you can see I surged everything and I surged it with beige thread because that's what was in my serger. And once again, it's a garment she's gonna wear in the hospital for a little while. So we're gonna sew this underarm seam and then all the way down the side seam. And we're gonna do that on both sides. 
And then we are almost essentially there. All right, you can see we have our little hospital gown, all made, cute little sleeves, right? And I decided that since the base th serger thread was what was in my serger, that's what I used, but it actually works really well. I'm gonna leave it. I would rather spend the time making a second a hospital gown than um, turning all these edges and making it look pretty, she's only gonna wear it a couple of times, probably once or twice in the hospital. Now, I wanna put the ties on and I'm going to use this Ponte's got this, it curls, right? When you cut little strips of it, it curls. Makes kind of a fringe, so it's perfect for a tie. The pattern requirements call for a tie that's about 12 inches. I'm gonna make it a little longer. I think that probably somewhere around 15, just in case. And then I need to mark where they go. So I'm gonna lay my pattern down over my actual garment. And I'm gonna put a pin in where the where the, the hole for the pattern is. There's three of them, the three little tie holes, and then mark it on this side so I have a pin. I've actually marked them already where they're gonna go on each side. So they're on the left and the right front. And we're gonna have, so we'll have six of these and we're just going to sew them on. I'm just gonna tack them on. It's perfect, it's all they need. It's a huge step up from the Johnny's that they give you in the hospital and it actually is something a little more personal and it also is a little has a little bit more coverage and with a knit in the back there's it's very comfortable All right so i'm going to uh, put the ties on this one and make another one and i will show you the finished product hi guys all set so i made up this second one in an hour it i used a scrap of stretch twill it's kind of a heavy twill and then this t-shirt knit for the sleeves in the back and the ties didn't take any time to go up. Again, I just serged them and these ties are just strips that I cut. You could use pretty much anything that you wanted. Um, so this is the Mood Society Hospital Gown MDF 201. And again, I'll put that down in the bottom. So if you have some nurse and doctor friends that are looking for hospital gowns, this might be the pattern for you. Again, a, a yard of this and a yard and a half of the knit of scraps that I had lying around, leftovers from projects that I had kept and just surge the edges really quickly. And you know what? She's gonna be able to wear them and wash them and use them again or pass them on to somebody else. So it was a great pattern, something that you know is kind of unique, but if you have the opportunity to make one for somebody, I suggest you go ahead and make up a couple, all right? So until next time, Sandy, signing out. Happy sewing. Bye.